Hello there, my Aquarius Collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Ooh, Aquarius, you got the Ten of Cups vibe there. Your cup floweth over. Bottom of the deck, you have the Queen of Pentacles there with the Nine of Pentacles. There with the Empress energy. There with the Ten of Swords. Over top of that is the Queen of Swords. Damn with the Three of Wands. Sweet Jesus. Someone's finding it hard to sort of uh, <laughs> be in your energy. Oh, damn. Someone is a professional ex. Someone is a professional ex. Nine of Pentacles there at the Queen of Pentacles. That's a secondary vibe with you, Aquarius. I, I don't know. Who's in competition with you? What the fuck is that even about? Masculine or feminine on this? That feels androgynous. King of Swords at the bottom. There's the Piscean Moon. There's the Ace of Pentacles. There's the Queen of the Double Queen of Pentacles. There's the Scorpio vibes. There's the Hierophant energy. Oh, and there's the Three of Wands. Oh my goodness. Ooh. Someone doesn't same uh, share the same religion as you. Over the Queen of Pentacles with the Hierophant, there is the Three of Swords. Between the Three of Wands and the uh, Scorpio vibe is the uh, Eight of Swords. And covering all that is the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. So what was the failed relationship or partnership? This could have been a business opportunity or someone trying to take advantage of a business opportunity. This does not need to be your energy. So those of you Aquarius who have sloppy like family members... Um, you know, be mindful of that energy. Some of y'all sloppy exes. Someone thought they'd have like the same opportunity as you, Aquarius. Sagittarius keeps pulling this vibe too. So some of y'all be mindful of the, the sort of group dynamics you have around you. Definitely six degrees of separation. Someone's rather envious of your jewelry as well. Yeah, there's the Queen of Wands. There's the Ten of Swords. There's the Four of Pentacles, and there's the Nine of Pentacles. Oh, some of y'all are dealing with, like, a... Uh, who is into, like, the passionate uh, one-night stand type vibes or whatever the fuck? This is a person that travels to see randoms. Uh, way too much sort of stuck stagnant energy on this. Uh, change your passcodes. Change whatever you need to change, so that way you're sort of not in this vibe. This could be a business partner as well with that Hierophant energy there. So some of y'all could be like switching things up when it comes to a work opportunity. Some of you definitely be mindful of who's trying to sort of take over a situation with you by bringing in somebody else. So once they get like an opportunity, they like bring their whole family in on the opportunity as well. Or if this is like a, a partner a co-partner with you in a business situation. Uh, every time they get a new random, they try to create some sort of position for that person. No one or nothing compares to you. So that's what makes the difference. So I don't know who's in this sort of comparison vibe with you, Aquarius, but it just doesn't work. Uh, it's the difference between like... Uh, being just classic and someone that's not it's just, it's just something don't uh feel right it's it's random hookups it's that type of vibe so damn bottom of the deck here the queen of swords with the eight of pentacles some of y'all be mindful of the if there's like relationships or partnerships out of um mm, well what's the word on that sentimentality 
you might want to switch that up. So, if you had to, like, choose partners or choose sides or choose friends or you were in a situation like that, yeah, some of y'all, fuck the sentimentality on something. That way someone has your best, uh, uh, views in mind. So, the Hierophant, the Four of Swords there with the Two of Wands with the Seven of, uh, Seven of Swords with the Hermit vibe. Some of y'all could definitely have a rat problem or a mold problem or someone who's just way too much in your energy. X energy or if this is like a business opportunity. Some of y'all be mindful of hiring new. So make sure you're paying attention to that. There's the Wheel of Fortune, and there you are, Aquarius. And there's the Capricorn energy. There at the Three of Cups. Oh. Now's not the time for any parties. Now is not the time to sort of bring in this sort of secondary energy. Uh, that's what makes the whole sort of difference with you. So, uh, healthy boundaries here, and definitely be mindful of that sort of Three of Cups vibe. Be mindful of who's trying to bring in a new person into a situation that you've already got sort of taken care of as well. So, this could be someone wanting to bring in like a relative or a friend. Some of y'all fuck the sentimentality with something there with that King of Swords when it comes to like business vibes. So, some of you, maybe you're going to bring in someone else to sort of take care of things that somebody else usually did. You need to be mindful of who the fuck you're trusted and just stick into, like, uh, a few people. Definitely be mindful of the randoms. Be mindful of who would sell you out as well. Especially if you had to, like, uh, choose friends or choose partners or things were a little different or weird. Fuck the sentimentality on something, too. You don't need that shit. You definitely got Crosswatcher energy. But some of y'all with that sort of Three of Cups vibe... There could be a relationship or partnership falling apart because someone isn't getting, like, what they feel is what they're deserved or owed or some shit like that. So if you're dealing with somebody who is stingy or cheap as fuck, there could be a situation with that. Someone made promises and now they're not following through. So that uh, dynamic could be falling apart. Good energy for you if you stay focused on you. Keep it simple. Now's not the time for, like, a celebration. I don't feel like you need that energy. There's Libra vibes. Very balanced and focused with you. The four cups with the yeah. Some of y'all need to fuck the sentimentality when it comes to something. Something didn't quite work. Some sort of relationship or partnership didn't quite work. So now someone's getting played. Someone made promises. Someone made like uh, opportunities, and now they're not able to follow through on them. And damn, it's creating some sort of havoc. But not in your energy though. So who the fuck promised who what? I don't feel like they made that promise to you, though. But someone isn't following through with their promises. Someone got cheap. Someone got stingy. Or someone just straight up lied. So, damn. Be mindful of parties. I don't feel like now's the time for you to go to a party. Or some of y'all, the sort of uh, a, a social event or something along that lines. Now is not the time. This does feel like fuck the sentimentality on something as well. Things are working out for you in a very unique way that you don't really have to do anything. So whatever this sort of player vibe was, uh, it's kind of playing itself out. Definitely watch your favorite astrologer. 
uh, with the Taurus energy right here. Here you got like uh, Libra vibes. There you are, Aquarius. You got the Capricorn energy. Who else you got up in this? Scorpio vibes down here. Didn't you have Pisces energy as well? So there is so much interesting things going on astrologically for you that's kind of working on your behalf. Faith, love, and trust in the universe and let those blessings come in. Yeah, don't feel like you have to do anything. Make sure you're coming from a pure sort of vibe, uh, Aquarius, as well. That's what makes the difference here. So, some of y'all, there's an accomplishment or celebration that you're going to celebrate on your own. Because it's a, it's like a beautiful opportunity for you. But it's it's for you and you alone. Definitely be mindful of the group dynamics. Because some of you, that's the whole point with that uh, group dynamics. 11, uh, 12 on the phone there. So, that relationship or partnership wasn't supposed to happen. So, that's kind of the whole point with this. Take what's yours, leave what's not. What's the song for you, Aquarius? Definitely watch your favorite astrologer. I feel like you're going to be single. Or if this ain't about a relationship or partnership with you, this could be a business relationship or partnership. You've got to stand for something or you'll fall for anything. Yeah. There are that Ten of Cups. Who's in that energy? Who's celebrating with you? Bottom of the deck. There's nothing I can do. Total Eclipse of the Heart. That's the wedding band vibe. The wedding ring effect. So, damn. Family tradition type vibes here, too. Some of y'all need to fuck the sentimentality when it comes to something and focus on what's important. So that way you don't get taken advantage of. Especially when it comes to business decisions. You might not be able to change everything, but maybe some of you are going to bring in like a, another person to sort of look over everything. Fuck the sentimentality. You're going to be just fine, Aquarius. Good luck, God bless, take what's yours, and leave the rest. Peace, love, and light, Aquarius.